Alright, hello YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a auto updater for an application made in Visual Basic. Um, first thing you want to do is uh, create a text file called version and uh, name it txt. Uh, put in 1.0.0.0, which is uh, your application version number unless you've changed it. It's a uh, default for all new applications. And uh, save that to your desktop. And um, you're going to need a, a hosting account for a web server, uh, either a free hosting account or your website or any kind of domain um, that hosts uh, that you can host the file on. Um, so you want to make sure that you upload that and uh, grab the URL from there and uh, change the uh, the uh, properties uh, to 777. Um, that way, you anybody can access it. Um, so what you want to do now is. Uh, you want to go to your form one load events and uh, do a check for updates and of course this is going to underline it because we don't have a sub yet so now we want to create that sub it's going to be public sub so we'll go public sub sub check for updates okay um, so what there's several different ways to do automatic updating, but the way we're going to do it is uh, we're going to download that file that you uploaded. We're going to read that file, check its contents. Inside of that file is going to be our most recent version number. And if it's different than our application that we're currently running or that your client or user that you're in customer is running, it's going to notify them that there's an update available. Um, and then from that point, you can message box them and ask them if they want to update. Um, you can automatically update um, several, several different ways you want to do. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is uh, declare a variable and it's going to name file. So we'll do dim file as string equals application dot startup path and uh, we're going to do version dot txt. Okay. Um, next thing you want to do is find out what version we have now. So dim my String equals my application dot info dot version, and we need to convert that to a string. Okay. Once that's done, um, before we download the file, we want to make sure that uh, the file is deleted if it exists. That way, it doesn't throw an exception. Um, so we want to do uh, if my computer dot file system dot file exists file and delete file okay now we know that uh, it's not going to throw an exception once we download it so let's go ahead and download it mine.computer dot network dot download file and then we're going to enter our URL here that I told you and then uh, we're going to save it as file so we'll close that okay and then um, we want to get the contents of that file that we're going to download so we'll do a dim last ver string equals my dot computer dot computer dot file system dot read all text and then this is gonna be file. Alright. Now we want to compare that and see if they match. And if they don't match, we know there's an update available. So we'll do uh if not my ver equals last ver then um, this is the part where you, you would do your updating message box update available um, you can also do a yes no message box um, yes being yes I want to update no being no um, you can automatically update this is where you would do shit um, and then um, I think that's it um, and then just for debugging purposes, um, don't actually add this in your code because then every time you do it, it's, it'll set the programs up to date every time you load. Um, so we'll do message box uh, program is up to date. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that. Um, oops, I'm going to need to stick my URL in there. So let me copy that and grab it, move it over. There we go. There's my URL. So when I run this, it should be up to date because I haven't changed that version number yet. Here we go. Program is up to date. Like I said, um, normally this message box wouldn't be here uh, under the else statement. Um, 
So it would just automatically start up and they don't need to know that it's up to date. They only need to be notified if there is an update available. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And then um, we'll go ahead and say, hey, uh, I got a new program out here. Uh, you guys want to download it? Um, it's updated. So what we'll do is we'll go to our version.txt, open it up. And let's say we want the version to be 1.1. Hey guys, we got a new version 1.1. Let's go ahead and save it. All you got to do is upload it to your website in the same URL that was previously there. Go ahead and override it. Close this. Now when the user um, runs our application, it'll download it. Check. And hey, look, we got an update available. If you guys have any questions or comments, please... Uh, Go ahead and comment on it and ask me. Uh, you can go ahead and comment. You can ask questions in the comment box or you can PM me. Um, anything you need. All right, appreciate it. Thanks.